Dedicated fans, a place in Alberta has become the final frontier. The small town of Vulcan has drawn a stellar, if not interstellar, gathering of characters from one of television's most universally appealing shows, Star Trek. This weekend, the town southeast of Calgary is the host of an annual Star Trek fest. And unlike the best-known son of the planet Vulcan, those beaming into the prairie version are not afraid to indulge their emotions. CTV's Kayla Carr has more. There is a warrior named Mo Dakar. From Klingon karaoke to a parade down Main Street. It appears, Magistrate, that the intelligence of the, the specimen, specimen is shockingly limited. limited. These Star Trek enthusiasts are among the thousands of North Americans who gathered in Vulcan to celebrate the iconic sci-fi series. Kapo to all grandmas and seniors everywhere. Live long. The town of 2000 usually doubles in size as people gather for Spock Days and Galaxy Fest. The son of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry landed in Vulcan to launch the event's 15th year. Eugene Roddenberry Jr. helped unveil a plaque in his father's memory. It was beautiful. They've got such great wording. It's, it's such a, a tasteful, classy thing they did. And I appreciate the town of Vulcan for doing it. The town of Vulcan was originally named after the Roman god of fire. But after the popularity of the series soared, the community embraced the Star Trek theme. After all, Vulcan is Spock's birthplace. There are dozens of events. Both residents and visitors get involved. Some even traveled from the other side of the country. We're looking forward to the parade the most, and we're from Halifax, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. This is Alpha and this is Beta. We've been coming here for 11 years. The Flying Trekkies are new this year. Hundreds watched as seven skydivers dressed in costume jumped from two airplanes landing in the town. I've never seen an entire town uh, that's converted itself into a Star Trek universe. I'm, I'm shocked by it and I love it. The people of Vulcan are hoping their passion and commitment to the series will help persuade Hollywood producers to hold the premiere of the next Star Trek film here. Star Trek Zero, the 11th movie in the series, is slated for release May 2009. Kayla Carr, CTV News, Vulcan.